Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that he chose to join me today uh, as we get a mission from Principal Investigator Steff over here. I'll go look for Rasafor Pavel if you want me to. No, 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 I'm not sending anyone else to there. I made that awful mistake the first time. Idine, pardon me. He just insisted so much. He really wished for the technology to work so much. In fact, he was willing to risk his life. I don't want to risk yours or anyone else's. Oh, I'm not a rookie, Steph. I can handle myself quite well. If Pavel is alive, then he's probably hurt or and unable to return on his own. By the short, this is all so messed up. Ah, uh, uh, go then. Go to the West Wing. Should you find him, bring him back. If there is anything to bring back. The emitter is not important, but returning it wouldn't be frowned upon. Short guide you, carry. Would keeping it for myself be fr frowned upon? Because I wouldn't mind that. Um, I'm on my way, brother. Short guide you. No, I'm 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 here to ask you more questions. Uh, can I ask you more? Oh, he got he goes to talk. Okay. Um, what can you tell me about this department? Well, now this is the department of physics, and that is exactly what we do here. Physics. I mean, we don't do it. We study it. That's the one. Uh, we have our little lab here and our own personal particle accelerator. Even we, and we are pretty much ha what. We are pretty much have our hands free to do whatever we desire. We perform tests, experiments, and make new discoveries in an attempt f further aid this institution in its goals. I'm sort of reciting from memory all this because I forgot half of it. Uh, sounds like a, f a lot of fun. Oh, physics is fun. Apex. And don't let anyone try to convince you otherwise. I suppose the only downside is that we sometimes tend to be underappreciated, I feel. You know, by other departments, like physicists play with uh, their own toys. Iodine, pardon me for saying that, but it can... <laughs> can you imagine playing with their own toys as opposed to playing with other one other people's toys? Anyway, I'd have pardon me for saying that, but it can get on my nerves sometimes. But when we do show them something apex, then their jaws instantly crack to the floor. They crack open, and then they fall to the floor. I'm mixing the two together, because I'm very confused half the time. Uh, why did you join the Institute of Short? That was a long time ago. I am going to give you a simple answer here. There is no need to go into a lot of details. Here's a single sentence. It is not a single sentence. No, it may be. Anyway, I always had imagination. And here, I could make it a reality. That's all there is to it, sister. You could make your imagination a reality, for sure. I am interested in purchasing some tech stuff, if you've got any available. A new, an unusual request, but one I can respond to positively. Talk to Investigation Kiro and tell him I gave you permission. The selection should be satisfying, I'm sure. Where can I find him? He's over by the particle accelerator, probably doing some calculations. He's a brilliant mathematician, so I allow him to do all the difficult math for me. Ha 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 ha. Mm, short guide you, brother. Short guide you too, sister. And we are in the um, room with Iodine, by the way. I wonder what happens if we attack him. I'm saving. Uh, I want to see what happens. So, enter combat. Click on there. Click on here. Murder Iodine. I figured he'd have a lot of health. Is he immune to stun? No, he's not. So... Let's do something. Okay. Let's see Let's see if we can kill him, actually, just for giggles. Is that guy coming over here? Hey, these jerks are attacking me. Oh no, mental breakdown. I resist. Um, okay, um... So, how am I going to do this? I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, let's move over. Oh, it's bad news. Uh, well, I'm going to have to bet that this guy burns. He seems to be burning. It is the end of the line for you, inbred. Oh no, that's the uh, investigator over here saying such terrible things to me. This guy, yep. Oh, that actually got through. Oh, no, they didn't because this guy punched me out of it. Thank you. 
pie. So he didn't transform into a monster of death. We're good. Oh, he's got a shield though, so we're not good. Oh well, we're just goofing around. Now we know what happens when you kill Iodine. Although I probably killed him in, in uh, my first playthrough. Let's have a chat with Investigator Kiro. Or Kiro, I, I, I don't know. This thin man seems uninterested in you at first glance, as his facial expression doesn't change at all when he notices you trying to start a conversation. By, I don't know what I do to try to start a conversation. It's like I'm cranking the, the starter engine or something like, and it just doesn't start. You know, like a, like a generator or like a, a motorcycle or something. I don't know. Uh, and his body language doesn't differ from the fact that, the, you know, doesn't differ from not changing. That's interesting. It doesn't differ from his facial expression, which doesn't change. So the body language also doesn't change. Require this guy is all about mathematics. We require a lot of calculations here with this this dialogue. Uh, what you also find peculiar, uh, we are now being informed that we found this peculiar, uh, but also we have also found peculiar is the fact that he almost never breaks eye contact, which means that he sometimes does break eye contact, hmm. but maintains it during the whole conversation, which hasn't happened yet. So. But, mm -hmm. Luckily, he blinks in regular intervals. As do all people? Mm -hmm. Or else the mechanical stare would seem even more awkward. Also, it comes as no surprise that his tone of voice is as flat as his excitement for the conversation he is engaged in. I... Uh, mm -hmm. Short as evolution, I am Investigator Kiro, and who are you? Uh, uh, evolution is short, brother. I am Kerry, and I wanted to ask you a few questions. No problem at all, sister. What is on your mind? Principal Investigator Tr uh, Steph told me I could purchase high-tech stuff from you. Of course, sister, please wait a moment and I'll show you what I have available. There we go. That's a fun voice to make, hopefully. And hopefully it doesn't s send you up the wall. Uh, let's see. So we have... Uh, he needs shield. He probably has enough money for this. How many shields does he... Li well, he likes electronics. Uh, so double clicks, double clicks, and double clicks. Oh, yeah. And, of course, his money doesn't even start to make a dent into how expensive that is. He does have a bunch of uh, energy cells, so I'll buy those. Uh, although those probably are heavy as can be. No, they're not. They're not very heavy. Uh, but it's good to have, although not really. I'll, I'll hang on to them. Um, there's a lot of uh, crafting components. I might need them. So we got a plasma core. Oh, look at all these plasma cores being... Wow, look at that. That's a really good one. 143? I'll take that. Uh, okay, now separate this, separate that, separate this. Uh, that sounds good. Auto? Yeah, that's pretty good. Unless he has something else that I need. He might have something else that I need. Oh, he also has some mentors, but uh, mentors, but we have those already. Good. Trade. Thank you very much. What is on your mind, sister? Uh, can you tell me who is in uh, who, who is in charge here? That would be Principal Investigator Cheft. No, Steph. That's the one. He runs the Department of Physics. He could be in his office in a case in case you need him. Anything else? Uh, no. Short guide you. No, man, there's so much, so much. Why do you bother describing his boredom with a with a conversation? His conversation didn't even last. It didn't even do nothing. The conversation didn't. Oh, man. Now we need to talk to Iodine, and I'm going to die. A nightmarish, uh, nightmarish visage stares at you with its ba barren eyes. What is a barren eye? How can your eyes be barren? Barren of what? Pupilless. It doesn't have a pupil. That's probably what it is. Tentacle-like extensions hanging from the lower part of the mask only add to the already intimidating sight. It's, it's a breathing apparatus. It is definitely tentacle-like. And there are extensions, but it, he just has a breathing thing because he's old. While it is only a mask, it seems natural to wonder if what is beneath it could even be could be even more frightening. This tall, imposing figure is Iodine, the founder of, inst of the Institute of Chort. There's no doubt about that. He wears a long, decorated robe that exhibits a ghastly flow with every move he makes. All of which are control. All of which? The move. The moves. The moves. All of which, yeah, that makes sense. Are controlled and deliberate. 
also a symbol of an eye with five tentacles growing out of it st stamped is is stamped on the robe with the highest rank you have seen any of the shortists have he lowers his head to look at you and delivers his words in a profoundly deep voice only slightly impeded by his terrifying mask short is evolution carry finally we meet i would like to officially introduce myself i am iodine I never had the opportunity to thank you for returning the set piece to inst the Institute of Chort. If it stayed in the heads, the hands of of the developed, what? No, devolved. That's the one. I would have been greatly disappointed. Well done. Uh, evolution is short. I retrieve the figurine in your name, illustrious Idine. In that, I have no doubt, Carrie. Of that, you have doubt of things, not in things. I don't doubt. You can doubt things, but it's anyway. Of that, I have no doubt, Carrie. We rarely get to witness such val valiant efforts from those who have yet to become a part of our institution. I apologize, but I cannot speak to you at this time anymore. I have come here to oversee the department and discuss certain matters with some of the investigators. Still, I am sure we will converse again when the time allows. Uh, I am sorry if I bothered you. Short guide you. Short guide us all, Gary. Okay, well. That didn't last very long. As conversations go. The, hmm. The PI definitely uh, was the longest conversation over there. Did I go over here? I did, didn't I? I think I did. So we need to go to the West Wing. I don't know where that is. It's probably going to be... Hiccup. Uh, we also need to go to one lower under it. It's probably going to be marked in uh, in here. There we go. Let's see. So we have that done. We need to uh, speak to Medi Mediant Samuel about joining Preservation, one of the divisions of the Institute of Chort. Uh, once the Hecate outpost that's in lower under rail, I need to try the pistol mm, anywhere, really. And uh, Pavel has been sent to the Institute of Chort West Wing two days ago. What do you mean West Wing, though? Because the West Wing is right here. Why would it be complicated? I mean, I haven't explored everything. Maybe, well, maybe we haven't explored enough to know what the heck's going on. Uh, there's a kitty. There's some vases. There's Minister Percival. I remember him. Uh, I remember not liking him. So, I don't know what to say about that. There's a wardrobe back here. With uh, rubber balls inside. People are very stressed all the time. Kitty is not never stressed. He's very happy all the time. We got light switches in the least convenient places ever in all these rooms. I'm turning them on because why not? So you can see things a little bit better. Kitty, Kitty saying hi to everybody. No computer's doing anything. Kitty says hi to me. And purrs a lot. That's like a really happy kitty. That, all the cats in the game are like that. It's a little bit weird. Ooh, that's a mentor in here. One that I already have, but I'll take that. I believe I have all the uh, all the spells. Got a, fi a couple of file cabinets back here. Some grenades and some batteries. Nothing extraordinary. And Minister... Oh, wait a minute. But yeah, Minister Percival. You recognize the... F oh, right. I recognize the name. And also the familiar face of Minister Percival. And he recognizes yours, too, without delay. George's evolution, sister. I am terribly sorry, but I am currently engaged in a conversation with these... Ugh, acolytes. Could you please seek me at some other time? Sorry for disturbing you. George guide you. Uh, yeah, that's why I remember him. And I remember not liking him because, well, he's the... He's the main... Short, uh, shortest character that you talk to if you kill shorts. Although you, you have a long, long conversation with the uh, with the ones at the front. So got a couple of recombinants over here, whatever that means. Some battery cells over there, and a bunch of recombinants all over the place, and some sniper fours, and some other things. Nothing here that would interest me, obviously. I mean, I say obviously, but really, it's just. It'd be good if I had a weapon. And we have Ifrator Hana. 
Some of this stuff is locked. Other stuff it isn't. Uh, other stuff is not. Oh, some of it... Why'd you lock that? I can go back there. I can go back there, back there and steal from there. I, I need to be on the lookout for... For lockpicks. I don't think I saw any on the... Um... um on the, the shops that we've seen. Yep. As expected. There's nothing here for us. But, you know, it's good fun. This does seem like a normal armory, though, so it's not gonna, probably not going to have lockpicks. Carrie, Median Samuel wishes to see you. He is in his office with a freighter Dankovsky. I don't... Over here. Denzil, that's the one. And uh, we can go back. Oh. Before you even have have the chance to say anything, one of the two men points at you and speaks in a familiar, enthusiastic voice. Ah, oh, Carrie, good of you to finally show up. I mean, the mediant and I were just discussing how you received the reaching man from the clutches of those devolved inbreds, and the freighter is cut short by a resolute voice coming from the other man. One who... Okay. Silence! I have heard it already, and our sister already knows it from first-hand experience, no? Carrie, I am Median Samuel, the second in command of preservation forces of the Institute of Chort. Welcome to my office. Chort is evolution. Evolution is short. Indeed it is, sister. Now, I need you to wait a few moments for me to finish with, with the Ephrator and uh, send him away. This won't take long. Your notability? Median, I, I don't understand what you mean. Send me away? Then let me explain it. Explain, Ephrator. As soon as we're done here, you are going to take your Rasa 4 unit and lead them to patrol the upper underrail. Routes uh, W1 through N5. I know it's very confusing, but whatever. The theft of the Reaching Men revealed how susceptible we are to having our couriers intercepted by the likes of lunatics and other inbred lowlifes. I want the area surrounding the Institute secure at all times. At all times. Infuriation seeps from the Ephrator. Probably from nasty places that you don't want to talk about. Your notability, I worked hard with with Carrie to locate and retrieve the Reaching Man to bring it back. Oh, this is the guy I, I remember now. He's the one in the front, I think. He's the one in front of the, uh, the, 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 the gates, the one that got us in. To bring it back in time for the anniversary, the birthday, as it... Anniversary, that works as well. As in, as is my duty to the Institute, to Iodine and to Chort. You realize that, yeah, yes, I... Um, I know you... What? Oh no, you realize that. That you know, of all that I just said, I know you do. Yet I am rewarded for my for my hard work by being sent on a what, a meaningless patrol? Hard work? Don't make me laugh, Ephrator. If idling away in front of the institute gate and waiting for a passerby, a complete stranger, to ask for help constitutes as hard constitutes hard work. Constitutes is a transitive verb. Uh, then by all means you deserve a promotion, no? Perhaps you could even be replaced, or could even replace me, if that is what you desire. It is not how it happened, Midian. I was... I mean, if you... Silence. I don't want to hear another word from you, Ephrator. Did you really think that your babbling and boot leaking would make me forget how the whole situation was handled? Yes. Even though the figure... the figurine is back in our hands, it is not because of you, but because of a chain of very fortunate events, and the help of Gary, who, by the short, did a lot more than you. Now out! You have your order, Ephrator. Orders, short guide you. Overflowing with disappointment. Again, through the places that we're not going to talk about. Short guide you, your notability, says Ephrator Denzel. And disappears. Gary, I'm really sorry you had to take part in this, that, in that. I have zero tolerance for such... For... for I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. Incompetence? Yeah, that is the adequate term. Now, you, on the other hand, are exactly the opposite. You adapted yourself to the situation at hand beautifully. Called the lunatic vermin and retrieved the valuable figurine and achieved your goal. You became a member of our beautiful institution. Perfect. Survival of the fittest at its best. No? Now, I have been dying to meet you, and, uh, not literally, of course. Let us, let us, uh, leave, what? I literally meet you, yes. Uh, let us leave that to someone else. Oh no, the joke. I'm making a joke. Pretend that I made a good joke. I uh, have work for you. A test, if you will. But if you have some questions before we start, feel free to ask them now. I have so many questions in here. Oh, I have so many questions for sure, but um, also I have so many quests. Uh, when did you join the Institute of Short and why? Two questions. I'm afraid I dislike discussing that subject, sister. 
Uh, I respect that. In that case, I'd like to ask you a different question. Um, what can you tell me about the West Wing? I hope our notability preposter Amelia didn't miss warning you about the West Wing, no? Well now, sister, the truth is that a warning is the only concrete information that you can get regarding the West Wing. The sad truth is... It's just I keep going back to the truth, but he doesn't tell me anything. We don't know what horrors exist in what that wretched place, and after what happened more than 30 years ago, we weren't too eager to find out. What happened? It is a long story. Perhaps you should visit preposter for the preposter for that? No? Uh, hmm? What about preservation? Preservation is one of the Institute's divisions, the one concerned with preserving Chort, this institution, and all its members. Our Rassifors are among the best trained troops in Underrail. Only we haven't had the chance to show it to outsiders, no? Haha. <laughs> How does one become a Rassifor? First thing is dedication to Institute of Chort and its ideology. Without it, everything else becomes meaningless. Second is hard work and rigorous training. Without it, one will not be able to perform their duties within preservation forces. Third and final is adaptation to any and all situations that Rasafor might encounter. I think that covers everything, no? Uh, Harmost? Harmos Stravos, com no, Stavros, commands all preservation forces and relays his orders to a mediant, uh, which is currently me, uh, who then uh, relays them to troops below. His Excellency, or to the troops below, yeah. His Excellency is a wise man in years of experience, with years of experience and a great sense of strategy. He was a student of Monsignor Marshall, after all, no? Uh, when can I meet him? When he returns from the uh, sis s site to scene outpost, I think, in deep caverns. Uh, when that'll be, I, I'm not sure, sister. The what now? Yeah, it's the first line of defense between the Faceless and our positions in the Deep Caverns. So basically, you are in charge until it returns. That is correct, sister. Communication between this location and the Deep Caverns is unreliable at the moment, so our most I had uh, to leave the command to someone capable enough, no? So I have been trying to do my best to maintain everything as if His Excellency were here himself. As if I was in his position, in a way. And you said the, Sist the Sistine outpost? Oh yeah, that goes back to that. Okay. Um... What can you tell me about the Faceless? Oh, the Faceless. Our arch nemeses. That is the plural version of nemeses. I'm tr I think it's pronounced the same way, but that is the plural version. Obviously, it's the Faceless. Uh, ah, ha, ha. They are the nemeses, I mean. From the very beginnings of, Institute of the Institute of Chort, the Faceless were poking their augmented noses into our business and tried to hamper our progress. They are violent, cannot be reasoned with, they don't even have free will. I'm not over-exaggerating. Or even exaggerating at all, let alone over-exaggerating. They never show any emotion or intelligence. They just call, 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 call. We know it. We have seen it. Mm, they seem to give you a lot of trouble. Oh, they try. Or tried. The first years of the Institute were the hardest for us. We hadn't, have, we hadn't had a strong foothold in the deep caverns. Didn't. We didn't have a strong foothold into deep caverns, and defending Chort from the corrupted was very difficult. We were in constant conflict, shedding blood on a daily basis, and then, in year 42, we took a decisive victory in the Battle of Nucleus. Our most martial commanded, commanded our Rassifor and gave the Faceless a lesson in warfare that they will never forget. So they left you alone after that? Uh, they never mounted any major assaults against preservation forces since that defeat. In the next 60 years, only irregular skirmishes were a sign that they were still alive, and I don't even believe they have shown their dystrophic bodies in 10, maybe 15 years. Until now, they, uh, uh until now when they assault, oh, until now, when since they assaulted Core City, yeah. Also, irregular is not the opposite of regular. Not in this sentence. Regular skirmishes. <laughs> Irregular is only the opposite of regular as in common. Oh, sorry, not common. It's, yeah, the words are, yeah. Um, yeah, he, he's trying to say uncommon skirmishes rather than weird skirmishes, which is what irregular means. Uh, although that's an oversimplification of what of the synonym there. Um, well, about that work you had for me. Yes, I can see you're interested in becoming a part of uh, preservation. No. Yes, your notability. I am really interested. Excellent. That is what I wanted to hear. Let us begin, then. 
I have a simple job for you. You are aware of the destructive force that was the recent earthquake. It did terrible damage throughout Underville. Unfortunately, the Institute wasn't spared from its wrath either. One of the walls in the utility section of a, cu a couple of levels below us has collapsed, revealing a passage to the long-abandoned Harpocketry Station. Minor damage, all things considered, which is lucky for us. However, it poses a security risk, as you may have already guessed. It was actually recently discovered for the breached... Um, uh, what, what? For the breach happened uh, because because the breach happened in one of the locked rooms. Not one, no one entered for a long time. We uh, didn't notice what happened until well, until I uh, can't remember who it was, but someone went there and witnessed the chaos. Naturally, a Rasa Four unit was dispatched to scan the area, and it was free of threats at the time. When we later checked some of the old plans, however, we noticed that Utility Station 7, west of our Pocketries' main hall, has a long tunnel lead leading somewhere far away. Pipeline... The pipeline goes through it, so the plans show... Uh, or so the plans show, but I'm worried about something else coming through. Do you understand me? I need someone to explore that Utility Station and secure it. Someone. He smiles. He also does air quotes when he says someone, and I have no idea what he means by that. Um, as a matter of fact, I already visited the duty station you told me about. Oh, interesting, quite interesting, Carrie. You surprised me more and more, um, in a positive way, of course. Tell me of your findings. Your fears were justified. A large group of lunatics, uh, managed to, uh, to get into the utility station. And? I, uh, and what? And what did you do about it, sister? Oh, I killed all those inbreds, your notability. They won't bother anyone. I expected nothing less. Well done, Carrie. I am very pleased, and I am sure His Excellency will be very pleased once I inform him of what you've done. To tell you the truth, I expected you to find something there. Foreign bodies. They were foreign bodies. They weren't part of our institution. I don't know. It is referring to foreign bodies, as in, like, what? From another country? <laughs> My Rasafors heard strange sounds coming from behind those doors, so I decided to send you as a test, just to see if what you did at the Emporium was due to luck or skill. And now I have the results. Foreign bodies were successfully removed from the system. Here you go. 500, uh, 450 Stygian coins. Nice. Something to give you further motiva motivation, sister. Indeed. Uh, but it doesn't give me more time for the day. So uh, I'm going to have to say goodbye. We also gained a little bit of experience, which is nice. I'm going to have to say goodbye for right now because we're out of time. So for right now, I'm Carol RPG, and this has been Underrail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.